The Life and Sad Ending of Charlton Heston, Star in the Ten Commandments and Ben Hur. Charlton Heston was born on October 4, 1923, in Wilmot, Illinois, USA, to Lila and Russell Whitford Carter. His father worked as a sawmill operator. Charlton was majorly of English and partially of Scottish descent. He spent a part of his childhood in a rural, heavily forested area, living an idyllic life. His parents divorced when he was 10 years old. His mother eventually married a man named Chester Heston. Charlton attended New Trier High School, where he developed an interest in dramatics. Charlton used to act out characters from books that he read and actively participated in his school plays. As part of the school's drama program, he appeared in an amateur silent 16mm film adaptation of Pierre Gent, which was released in 1941. His acting skills earned him a drama scholarship to the Northwestern University, where he received training under several prominent teachers, including Alvina Krauss. In 1944, he enlisted in the United States Army Force, where he served for two years as a radio operator and aerial gunner. He reached the rank of staff sergeant over the course of his military career. After being discharged from the Army, he moved to New York City in 1946 to pursue an acting career. He made his Broadway debut two years later when he appeared in Anthony and Cleopatra. He also became active in television during this period. He adopted the screen name Charlton Heston at the beginning of his acting career. His growing popularity as a stage actor led to Hollywood offers and he appeared in his first major film, Dark City, in 1950. His performance caught the attention of prominent filmmaker Cecile B. DeMille, who cast him as a circus manager in The Greatest Show on Earth in 1952. In 1953, he starred as Andrew Jackson in The President's Lady, the first of his many historical roles. Moses, one of his most prominent historical roles, which he played in the film The Ten Commandments, 1956, capulated him to the status of an icon in Hollywood. In 1959, he appeared in yet another historical role in Ben-Hur, which cemented his reputation as one of the best character actors in American cinema. His success continued throughout the 1960s with films like Kermatumo, 1966, and Planet of the Apes, 1968. Even though he sometimes experimented with his roles, he predominantly played either historical figures or literary characters. He played Mark Anthony in Julius Caesar, 1970, and portrayed John Tornino in Call of the Wild, 1972, and then played Cardinal Ritchie in The Three Musketeers, 1973. It sequeled The Four Musketeers, 1974. He also narrated films like Hercules, 1997, in Armageddon, 1998. During his later years, he served as the president of the National Rifle Association, 1998-2003. Charlton Heston married actress Lydia Mary Clark on March 17, 1944. The couple had two children. Theirs was a happy marriage that lasted 64 years until his death. He suffered from several health problems during the 1990s. He underwent a hip replacement surgery in 1996. He was diagnosed with prostate cancer in 1998. Sadly, in the early 2000s, 
it was disclosed that he had been suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Heston died on April 5, 2008, after suffering from pneumonia. He was 84. Goodbye, Charleston Heston. <laughs>